Hey guys, welcome to another Power World tutorial. So have you been trying to tame these bee guards so you can get a honey farm on the go only for this to keep happening? Well, this is the video for you. So first things first, where do they spawn? Well, if we take a look at the map, this is the starting area down here. And the area where I found most of them is just up here. And the fast travel is the snowy mountain fork. And as you can see, when we spawn in, there's some here as soon as we arrive. And there's a load all around this surrounding area as well. And don't worry if they just explode on you and kamikaze at you, because if you fast travel out of there and back again, there'll be loads more respawned around the area. Now, sometimes when you spawn in here, there will be different enemies when you arrive, but there'll still be loads of bees around the surrounding area. Now on to how we get them. So I found a bunch here and this is a bit finicky. So you want to get one of your pals out to damage a couple of them. And they will fly around and kamikaze at him. And then once you're down to one of them, then you want to throw one of your spheres. So I'm using a blue one. This doesn't always work. Sometimes you'll need a higher one. So what I'm doing is throwing the sphere to give me time in between each shot before it kamikazes at me. And once you think it's close to being able to being caught, switch to a good ball. So I'm using the red ones here, the gold ones will work as well. And then launch that at it and you should be able to get it. And woo! We finally got one of these little b****s. So let's show a few more examples of this working, because it doesn't work every time, it's going to take a bit of practice. So in this example, I only had a spear, I didn't have a crossbow, so I just went up to it and smacked it in the butt once, rolled away and let the fox spark damage it a bit. And then I threw a gold ball at it. Looked good, looked good, escaped. So I quickly potted up the fox spark, threw a red ball at it, and we got it. Sometimes if you're lucky, you'll get one glitch out on you like this. You can just run behind him, damage him, and then throw your pod at him. Sorry, ball, sphere, you know what I mean? And you can catch him that way. Now once you've caught all your bees, you want them to produce honey. So what you want to do is put a ranch down, assign them all to it by throwing them in it, and they will just wander around in there, dropping honey as they go. It's fantastic. So what I did was set up a separate area away from our main base that you can see in the back there. I set up a second base down here. I set up a berry plantation, some beds with a, a cedar, a waterer and some gatherers so that they just keep picking up the honey and everyone can survive here. They will drop the honey into a food bowl, by the way. They won't put it in a box. I did set up a box, but they are not putting it in there. Another good tip is to always have berries in the first inventory slot of the food bowl because the first item in there is what they will eat from. Also, I'm sure you know this, but it is the bee guard ones you want. You don't want the Elizabeth. The Elizabeth will just farm wood and stuff. She doesn't produce any honey. So it is the bee guards that you want to produce the honey. And I hope this video was helpful for you guys because it was the Dino Lord that came up with the idea of throwing this sphere at them just to bide you time while you reload your crossbow so that they don't come a at you. Then when they escape that sphere, shoot them with the arrow to get them a bit lower and then rinse and repeat until they're low enough to throw a good ball at them and catch them. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, maybe leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're not already. We are going to be doing a lot more Pal World, I think, on here. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day and take care. Get the bell on.